This video is about export systems in artificial intelligence systems. Let's look into the export systems. We have seen that intelligent systems and learning systems are there. But when an artificially intelligent system is designed to be an expert in a specific domain of knowledge, such kind of systems are known as expert system. The expert system, this is one of the advanced artificially intelligent machines. When machine is capable to solve problems using both facts and heuristics, the knowledge to solve problems is derived from knowledge fitted into the system knowledge base, usually human expert knowledge in a specific domain. So expert systems are usually expert have expert knowledge in a specific area like a field of medicine or a field of archaeology or a field of science etc so this knowledge related to that field can be feeded into the system and it can be used to solve specific problems using the algorithms so expert system are capable of using high level of reasoning to com complete its tasks so these machines work with a high level of reasoning capability and have a good reasoning knowledge applications of expert system include interpretation referring to situations sit, referring interfering situation descriptions when sensor data here and say they have speech recognition diagnosis inter, interfering systems in system from observations they can uh, diagnose from system symptoms and various other functionalities so the expert system has two main parts one is the inference engine and the other is the knowledge base so inference engine plus knowledge base or knowledge is what consist constitutes a standard expert system comparing with the traditional comp computers you can call the inference engine as the algorithm and the knowledge base as the database of the computer system so if you see there is a user who is interacting with the system using user interface and the interface engine will carry all the logics which will be used to work or the al algorithms which will be used to work on the data which is present in the knowledge base and the working storage of the working memory will be used to store the data as and when the machine will be working that is a real time data like the facts derived from the different problem solutions can be solved in the working storage to make or to complete the problem or to derive a solution which it is working on so what is a knowledge base so expert knowledge is stored often in the rules here so one of the way to store a knowledge is to store it in a rules the normal knowledge will be available in the form of the knowledge in books or in the websites like wikipedia and internet but this knowledge cannot be understood in an easy form by the computer so to make it and make it in an easy form to be understood by the computer it is stored in a knowledge base in a form with rules for example of a rule is if inflow is greater than a certain amount then there could be an output for discharge of certain amount of water which could be in a water tank control system so the working memory here data specific to problem being solved is stored inference engine here the code based on the algorithm is stored so whatever the problem is being solved on a certain program and the algorithm will be designed in such a way that when a user inputs a certain tasks to the in expert system the algorithm will work in such a way that a solution to the problem can be derived so so the inference engine the code based on the algorithm is stored this will fetch the rules basically from the knowledge which will act on this the knowledge base and the no and the system will act on those rules and store results or facts in the working memory so what is a user interface user interface is a medium user can interact with the system to make changes to the code to correct the code to make addition etc also to view the results so x face can respond to questions make decisions ask for clarifications make suggestions etc The expert system works on basis of solid reasoning to give output or make suggestion. The reasoning methods employed could be goal based reasoning or backward chaining, database reasoning or forward reasoning. So these are the different reasoning methods which could be employed in a expert system. So expert system inference engine works basically on the reasoning. Reasoning is the ability to come 
at a solution based on the problem which is put suppose there are five symptoms which are put into the expert system which is a medical diagnosis system so the reasoning system should be able to work those five symptoms based on the algorithm in such a way that the diagnosis of a certain disease can be made or a suggestion can be made so the reasoning machine is a core of any expert system which will make the reasoning based on algorithm the knowledge base using search algorithm the knowledge base is usually built using branching network or free representation to fetch data from knowledge base many of the search algorithm will be used example depth for search breadth for search heuristic search best for search and a search algorithm which we have seen so far so what is happening is that the knowledge which is stored in the knowledge base in the expert system to retrieve that or to work on that knowledge you will have to use a various search algorithm one of the method to store the knowledge is uh, using if and then rules other method is using the tree functionality and you can use a various ang algorithms to fetch a uh, fetch the knowledge from the knowledge base and to derive certain to solve various problems and come at various solutions so that's all about the working of expert systems So also the representation of data in knowledge base is possible using conditional rules. The references are given. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like and comment. Also you can visit the references to learn more. Also to watch other videos in this series. Next we will cover the different reasoning methods employed by artificial intelligence systems.